educational philosophy of Machon Meir is that we train our eyes, our consciousness, to look and see what is good. I went over to one of the older students of Machon Meir and I asked him, how do you, how do you look at people and see the good in them? And he said, when you look at someone and you see bad things about them, all that stuff is external. On the inside, they're a pure, pure soul. Wow, the first thing I felt when I got to Mechon Meir was the love. We have a student here who's in a wheelchair, and I see he came on the hike, and I was like, how's he supposed to do this? Four guys take like this, they have like a special chair for him, they put him in it, and then they carry him, they carry him, and we're climbing up mountains, and they keep switching shifts, and he's like, he's singing the whole time. And after seeing that, I was like, wow, you know, you can do anything here. <laughs> the teacher does this wonderful thing. He picks a city in Israel that he feels needs strengthening. The whole yeshiva goes, several hundred boys with all the Israelis, they split up in town. So like 30, 40 boys will go to each one of the little synagogues in town and sing and dance and the rabbi will give a devatua. Strengthen the whole town. Our goal is to help students see the big picture, see the importance of what they do on a national level uh, with regards to their responsibility to the nation, and at the same time, to maintain the focus on their responsibilities in building a good home, building a warm home, building a home that is filled with the Torah values. Amazing, amazing people here. What's so unique about Mahon Meir is that they're open to all types of people. Coming to Mahon Meir affords a unique opportunity to meet Jews from all over the world. You have an Israeli program here, a Russian program here, a French program here, a Spanish program here with a subsection for Portuguese speaking Jews. You have a conversion program here. When you're sitting in the Beit Midrash, you're surrounded by these people and you're all focused on the same goal is learning Torah, learning what, what God wants from you. And that melts away the differences. Rabbis here, they are involved in their students' lives. They're not just teachers, they are mentors. They spend a lot of time trying to get to know each and every person, and it makes you feel close to them in a way that makes it easier to learn from them. The head of the English department, Rav Listman, begins the staff meetings with how are our children doing? There is no one path that fits every student. I find that there's a lot of effort put here to help each individual develop in his own way. The student gets personal counseling. He gets time to study one-on-one -on -one with his Rav during the course of the day. If your dream is really to grow in Torah and you want to become a Torah scholar, then Mohammed is a wonderful place to start. I've seen people come and learn in yeshiva and unfortunately, they learn for many years and they still haven't grasped Hebrew. And it affects how you learn Gemara, it affects how you learn Torah. We have a professional Ulpan program that teaches Hebrew four afternoons a week for more than three hours. That's what's considered a very comprehensive Ulpan. After they've been in my class six months a year, they can move on to very high level Gemara Shirim in, in Hebrew in Mechama year in the Hebrew section. Mahomet doesn't believe in people staying in yeshiva the whole life. We want you to come to yeshiva and then go out and become part of Am Yisrael. How can I be a building block in the state of Israel? How will I be able to use my profession if I'm an engineer, an attorney, an educator, a farmer? More than 110,000 separate computers are watching shiurim every month on the Mahon Meir website. So every single day you can go on there and you say, okay, I'm having a bad day. I'm going to go on here. I'm going to try to find out what Rav Micha said about this. I want to find out what Rav Oren said about this. My mother's on the phone. She says, I just found you on the computer. Uh, there's this site, the Mahon Meir website. You're in the lounge room giving a shiur. I said, Mom, that's fantastic. She said, it's just like you're at home. You're in the lounge room talking and no one's listening to you. They have something called Arutz Meir, which means the Meir channel. The basic objective of Arutz Meir is making the Beit Midrash of Machon Meir the greatest and most sizable Beit Midrash in the world. There's a studio upstairs at Machon Meir where they're shooting kids' shows. The shows are extremely funny. 
They're written extremely professionally. It says in the Torah, Ki Mitzion Tetzei Torah, Udvar Hashem Yerushalayim. From Zion should go forth the law and the word of God from Jerusalem. I don't know if the prophet ever saw the internet, but internet Mechon Meir is a simple fulfillment of that verse. Now you can't walk anywhere in Israel where there aren't people who are learning from rabbis from Mechon Meir. Mechon Meir is aware that we're in a process of rebirth that the, the Jewish people are coming back to life. To be part of the Jewish people means that we're here not just to um, take care of ourselves, but to take care of the whole world. I view it as an honor, what we call in Hebrew, uzchut, to work with the tremendous people who come into the doors of Mechon Meir. And I've often said that if I win the lottery, I still believe the next day I'll be at Mechon Meir because to me, Mechon Meir is about living a dream.